After two tough losses last week against Quinnipiac and Niagara, this week the Red Foxes women's basketball team looks to change the pace as they face Iona on senior night on their home court. Um, I think we learned a lot from last week. You know, I, we learned that we just can't step on the floor and expect to win games. And you can compete for 38 minutes of the game and blow it in the last two. You know, there's a lot of good teams in the MAC, and it's really important that we know the amount of intensity we need to bring to games and compete the whole time. Our point guard score combined averaged about 14 points a game last week. So on the offensive end, we did some pretty nice things. Defensive end, we need to work and shore up on. Yeah, so I think that's what we're taking away from Niagara the most is just the heart we're playing with on defense. I'm going to miss this crew so much. Uh, you know, they're a great bunch, very different group too. They all have their different quirks and things like that. Um, these seniors have been great leaders, you know, whether it's in the locker room, off the court, in class or anything. They've just always been there for us, especially the freshmen coming in. Tori's just really started blooming late in her career, you know, because she's finally been healthy and at least she's shown people, giving them a glimpse of what she is like healthy. Natalie, it's, it's been like pulling teeth. We've had that, you know, that great love-hate relationship, but it's a lot more love. You know, and Maggie Gallagher is one of my all-time favorites. I mean, I've known Maggie since she was in fourth grade when she would come to the Lord's camps and stuff. And, you know, she holds the record for kids coming to camp here at the Marist camp. And, you know, she'll be sorely missed.